Forget what you learned in school. Never mind what your parents told you, and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only people now on, you, you need to listen to, to, you need to listen are these guys. Are these guys? For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. When your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Guess what? She's not in jail. Oh, yeah, that's right. Are you saying Trump's kind of like every other politician and he just said things he, that people wanted to hear? Yeah, he says stuff that people want. To, oh, you just said that. Yeah, I think that's the case. Hmm. That's a bummer. I thought he was different. No, no they're all the same. Yeah, they're dirty rats. I don't know. They aren't all the same. I think Maybe he not. is different. Well, he is different. I think he is different. He's different. I'll give you that. Anyways, today's uh, Thursday, October uh, what twelfth? Uh, I don't know. I don't have the page open. Two thousand seventeen. <laughs> well, it might ha- help to have the prep. Yeah, I don't think it will help. No, it won't help. We're in the Freedom Studios. We're on the fifteenth floor of the Patriot Towers in Liberty City. Do you know where we're at, Nate? Do you know where we're at? New Guinea. New Guinea. We spend a lot of time in African countries. Yeah, because we like it. The yeah. people are nice. The, the The exchange rate's pretty good, and you can get drugs really easy. You know where the exchange rate is not good? Going to Australia. 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 Holy shipping cow. Shipping is terrible. Yeah, right? shipping's really expensive to you Australia, You know why? Too. No, it, I don't know. It's like over Gun 100 control. miles away. Is it? Yeah, it takes them a long time to drive trucks there. You know it's tomorrow there today? No, it's not. I'm, no. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It can't be. Are you kidding me? Today is now. And there, now is today. There, it's tomorrow. No, it can't be. It's it, it is October 13th. Well, are they some kind of time traveler? It's, it's Friday the 13th in Australia right now. No, it's not. If that were the case, the whole country would be on fire, Un- unlike our country, which is it, half on fire. That's not funny. No, it's not. No. Um, so I don't believe that. And like I said, the Are trucks- you serious that you don't believe it? I mean, you, you're smarter than that, right? <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't know either. I was serious I just, when I told you earlier I, when you said you know nothing and I told you the jury will completely believe that you know nothing. I meant yeah, it. Yeah. They'll believe it. When I have to testify against you? Yeah, right. Uh, so, I, like I said, it takes a long time for the trucks to drive to Australia. <laughs> it really does. It does. I mean, UPS, so, FedEx, all of them takes a long time because it's over 500 miles away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Coke Zero. It's not so much the distance that makes it take a long time, well, though. It's, it's like, like an island. It's like an island. It's, 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 it's surrounded by water. It's surrounded by water. Big water. Big, big water. Deep, big ocean, ocean water. water. Yeah. <laughs> At least that's what I've heard. I'm not sure that it actually. No, that was exists. Puerto Rico. But no, I mean Australia. I'm not sure that it exists. I've never been there. You know, I, I've never seen it with my own eyes, so I don't know that. It's I real. almost had an opportunity to go there, and then it fell through, and. Well, kind of sad about it. The truck ride would be devastating. It would. It would be tough. Take four or five hours. Yeah. Uh, well, that was stupid. Uh, what? Oh, you added something to the prep page, and I didn't see that. Well, we can do that. That's Michigan stuff. Do we want to talk about Michigan stuff first? We got news that's pretty good. Freedom. Which one? Uh, the top one there. On this day, oh, oh I don't know. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah, yeah, switchblades, huh? Yeah. So that's good. We, I think we talked about it last week. It was coming up. That it was coming up this yes, week. Yesterday. Yesterday. Was, you know what? It was, and speaking of. Coincidence? Speaking of FedEx. And shipping. And shipping. Yeah. They were knocking on my door at midnight. Well, good for them. You didn't shoot them? No, I didn't. Stabbed them with my switchblade. Right. Yeah, so. No, they were delivering your switchblade. Yeah. I but got one. Right at midnight, yeah. What's sad, though, is it's been, I don't know, 24, 30 hours, whatever. I already lost it in a boating accident. Hmm. It's terrible. What I'm worried about is, since it's been enacted, that there's been 350,000 stabbing incidences in, in uh, <clears throat> our city alone. Yeah. Which, I know. Is, <laughs> which is odd, because our city only has like 20,000 people in it. So yeah. Maybe they were stabbed multiple times. 
Yeah, there was no uh, rhyme or reason for switchblades other than movies, much like the... What do you mean? Well, the argument was that switchblades were outlawed in the 50s after watching all of the Rebel Without a Cause types of movies and juvenile delinquents. Yeah. That the, yeah. the, sure. the state Senate and, and Congress decided, well, we can't have our kids having those dangerous weapons around. We'll just let them have regular knives that takes, you know, a quarter of a second longer to open and uh, outlaw switchblades. Oh, I see what you're saying. That was a re- reason. Yeah, so there's no sure. rhyme and reason no. for it. Um, well, one arm, one arm man or woman could have one because it was, you know, it's hard for them to open a knife. And of course, police officers were exempt. That was actually written into the law that uh, Which, they could possess for no Which reason. I, that no. doesn't really make any sense. But then, and then came along spring assist knives right. that were legal because, well, they weren't necessarily legal. They, in the way they were the, ignored. The, yeah, not always. One guy was arrested and charged and went to court. I was never arrested and charged. No. Never had one it either. It was a Kershaw later. Spring, just like the one I had, and the judge found the law the way it was written. Mechanical device was not clear and vague, so yep. he said it was unconstitutional, and the right. guy got off. That was in Grand Rapids area. So there have been prosecutions, but it was arbitrary and capricious again. If cops wanted to screw with you, they'd you know they'd yep. give you a hard Absolutely. time. Absolutely. The problem in Michigan is we don't have preemption for knives, so they can still, local municipalities can still ban gun, uh, knives and or switchblades. Yeah, and a lot of them, a lot of them do. Or, or They're they already have on the books, like, you know, kind of thing too. You know, three-inch uh, blade. Nothing longer than three inches, which I don't know where that came from. I do know where it came from, but it's just, it was a court decision. But the problem stupid. is you could be driving or walking or running or whatever, and, I mean, from where we are, literally across the street, yep. different the ordinance is different, and, and now you're committing a crime. Yeah. Or, nope, no longer. Yep. Well, no, no, no. no. It could Still, be longer. Yeah, that's the problem. Knives, yeah. Now, with guns, that's not the case. I know I can go across the street, and I have, you know, the law is the same. Yeah. Uh, but for, for knives, it's not. It's crazy. We need, we need knife people to get active in the state and pursue that. We do. I talked to... Uh, our local municipality, and I think they're going to, uh, because they had an ordinance that said mm-hmm. you couldn't have any knives in any of the parks and recreational areas in the city. And then they said you couldn't carry anything longer than three inches, and only if you had a hunting license or a fishing license. It was very convoluted. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the police chief and the supervisor both agreed that they should just follow state law with that. Because, I mean, you can carry a firearm openly without a license. You can yeah. carry it concealed with a license. Yet if you have a three or a four-inch bladed knife, it's a misdemeanor. Yep. It doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Anyways, Not that's, at all. that's that. So what else happened in Michigan? This was in Grand Ledge? I don't know. What else happened? Ty- uh, oh, this ty- is just one of those little... Anti-freedom? The man keeping you down yeah. things. Yeah. I. This was an idea I hadn't heard of, but it's I, I, there's a, a word for it. But they're basically little like it's a tiny pantry. I don't know if you've heard uh, the like the tiny libraries or whatever sure. they are. Yeah, I've seen those. People put at the end of their driveway mm-hmm. a box with books in it. You can borrow a book, leave a book, take mm-hmm. a book, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's the same idea except with food uh-huh. or th- things that people might need: mm-hmm. toothbrushes, toothpaste, whatever it is. Uh, someone in Grand Ledge, Michigan, wanted to put one, and they're uh, at their house, right? So people in the community, if they needed food, somebody needed a can of soup, you know, because they can't afford it or whatever. Why are you laughing? I'm just reading. The frigging ordinance officers are a joke. <clears throat> they are. So uh, what happened in Grand Ledge is uh, I don't know if it was the enforcement officer, but it was somebody related to planning and enforcing the planning and zoning ordinances. They said it's illegal. You cannot put that tiny pantry at the end of your driveway because we don't have any ordinances that allow you to put a tiny pantry yeah. at the end of your driveway. Positive and negative rights. Yeah. It, generally, ordinances work where they say what you can't do. Right. They don't. <laughs> you can do everything except what the ordinance says you can't. Hey, buddy, you're wearing a green shirt. We don't have an ordinance that says you, you can, can wear, wear a green, green shirt. Right, exactly. So, so you're going to get fined. So this family, for some reason... Uh, didn't just do it. They went to city council. They went to the planning commission for sure. months. This was, really? I think it was back in August that this started. So Ridiculous. a couple months anyway. Um, kept going to them saying, we're going to keep coming. We're going to keep coming. We want you to tell us what, if we can do this or not. And 
city council is not going to tell them and the right. planning commission doesn't tell them, but individually all the commissioners and council members said, or most of them said, just do it. Yeah. We, we don't have a problem with it. Just do it. But. Well, if they find out that it's illegal or they try to uh -huh. enforce some ordinance, it's a $150 fine yeah. that they might get. And the mayor said, I don't know if it'll help, but it probably won't hurt having this pantry out there. But if it leads to increased traffic and any sort of congestion, or, what, then what about, it's a civil infraction. What about animals, like infested with raccoons? I don't know. It's got a door. Well, that's good. But <laughs> but but raccoons are very clever. They have an opposable thumb. And I saw one the other day. I, I'm not kidding. It had a can opener. <laughs> And uh, and smelled like tuna fish. So yeah. I, I I I don't know. <laughs> they are smart. They're very clever. They are smart. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I don't that, think. It's, well, I don't think yeah. it's necessarily a good idea. I there's, don't. There's I, two issues. One, one is: is this a good idea to to do something like this? And and two, some idiot bureaucrat telling them you can't do it because there's nothing in the law that says you can do it. Yeah, that's. I absurd. mean, that's just a that's, moron. That's the problem. Whether it's a good idea or not, I don't care. It's their property. If they want to put a box with food, well, that's another discussion. I mean, it's, not, it's not just a box. It's you know, it's on a pole cabinet. and it's a nice yeah, cabinet. You there yeah, you go, yeah. cabinet. It looks like a little house. I think isn't it, is that sweet? Yeah, um, raccoons live I, in it now. And I, I don't know if it was raccoons or not, but they did say that a couple people have uh, already taken cans of soup. A couple uh, of people left some toothbrushes or oh, something. Oh, that's nice. By the way, raccoons, they yeah. love beefaroni. So. This, some of the people in the community, some of their objection to this was, because this is Grand Ledge, it's near the Lansing, Michigan area, yeah. that some of the undesirables from Lansing Ooh. would travel to Grand Ledge right. because these people... In wagon had, trains. <laughs> Or because, mule. Because these people had a tiny little box with some free food in it. And so we're going to start getting homeless people from yeah. Lansing. Yeah. Because we don't want that, right? Because well, the Lansing homeless we are do, way worse than the Grand Ledge homeless. We do <laughs> have cases, though, where cities have shut down the library concept. I, if I, 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 am I remembering that right? I think there was something where. Oh, you mean the, the little. The people whatever, that had the, the library take library a book or, stuff. That, and yeah. the, the city said you can't do that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, for sure. It's, yeah, we've had that. It, it's ridiculous. <sighs> okay. But I, I, don't know if, I don't know if Grand Ledge has a. Like a city mission or something like that, do you? The I, library I thing, they're I competing with the tax money that they get for libraries, but yeah. the the pantry, I don't know. I don't know either. It's ridiculous. I, I mean, my point was just we always complain about federal governments, but these are the kind of things that local governments do to people. They tell you you can't put a stick with a box with food in, in your, your yard. yard. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, you, they don't let kid, you know. Some of them don't let kids sell lemonade in their yard. Yeah, it's stupid. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Or or getting after kids that were shoveling snow, yep. going door to door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's going on? I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> My doctor says that's all right. It won't be long. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, just be patient. I'm trying to be patient. Unlike Trump, Trump, uh, I heard uh, from insiders, I have a lot of insiders in the White House, they're saying he's losing it. Losing what? It. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I said, look in the storm drains. You'll find it there. Oh, hey, I thought. Oh, that was a funny joke. And it, Yeah, but they didn't mean it. They meant IT. I don't think they mean IT they either. They do. His IT people are quitting like oh, crazy. Oh, wow. Well, they can't keep up with those twits. <laughs> Twits. That's right. <laughs> Apparently, neither can you. Yeah, that's not true. His IT people aren't quitting. No, I know. We're trying to be funny. <laughs> it's, it's not failing, working, is it? It's not working. Failing miserably. So, okay. So, come on. You you mentioned this earlier, and yeah. I said I don't think he's losing it. Yeah, well, give yeah. me some evidence. No, and I, then you just, just look at it. as you always do. You said, well, well, a confidential source told me. Right. Yeah, I got inside. Uh -huh. I got inside knowledge. Earlier, we were talking about Steve Gruber and a confidential right, right, source, right, right, and you right, said, well, right, confidential sources don't work for me. Yeah, they don't. But in this case, you had a confidential source yeah. that told you that Trump's going crazy? Yeah. And that, and that uh, he, it, several people have mentioned 